Hello everyone, so today we will practice what we have seen in the previous course of primitive stream of Java 8. So do you remember that there is three different primitive stream, int stream, long stream, double stream. So we'll open my Eclipse, so I already created a project named stream primitive one using GDK 1.8. So here I have my main class with the main uh, method to execute my application then I have just created a model uh, Java object which is a student represent a student so I have created four field a name a math node spore node and age and I have generated a constructor using field so I can create my, my student and the getter and setter of course so here I have created some student to work with in this method. So here I have eight student, max, mad max, crawl, bill, and other. And I have created an array list, and I have added all my eight student uh, in this array list. So I can work with stream afterwards. So do do you see, guys, that here I have created a static method because we are using this method in another static method so i am obligated to make it static so here we have my student and if i delete the word static here it won't work because here i'm it's a static method and any method uh, th that we can use in uh, directly in a static method must be static so i will add my static just here so here i have my eight student i will begin by creating a stream stream and then i will use a powerful method uh, which is map to double i will use map to inch in first place so here I will use a lambda method get h so here I have just created an in stream I have transformed my uh, list of student to stream then I have just uh, I have just uh, get the age of every person here for example I will collect all the age of those person the age is the last argument in constructor so 22 23 and etc 31 22 so here I have my primitive stream in stream I get it using map to int then I have my I can use my summary statistic to have some uh, data statistic data about student and here get average get a count I don't think that we will use this because it's the same result every time uh, with the other field get max age which can be interesting to have the max age of a class of student and the sum of age uh, that doesn't mean uh, anything for me so I will display my result or eclipse so here the average mean max age average of students 
then. Minimum age of student and maximal age of student. So here I can display the statistic of the list of uh, student objects. So it's an example of a real life. For example, you can receive this data uh, by uh, some database, uh, SOAP or REST service. So the average age of students is 24.75 and the minimum age is 18. And the maximal age is 31. So we can get another statistic. So here that stream map to double this time. I have used map to int because the age of the student is an int primitive value. Like we are seeing in my model, the age is in int. That's why we have used map to int. But if you want to uh, use other data like uh, notes, math note or spore note, we have to use map to double and not map to long. Forgot the row. So here, for example, I will take the map note. Here, I will have a summary statistic of the math notes of students. So the math note is a double map to double. I will go to declaration mapper double stream. Ah, it's a flat map. It's just a map, not a flat map. Sometimes with auto-completion, we can write uh, incorrect stuff. So here I will have a summary statistic of the math note of the student of this class. So here I have some summary statistic and I will display all the value here. So uh, average zero, max zero, min zero. And the average just here. Ah, so the max will be uh, double and the mean will be double two. So average math note average of students math note of student and the maximal math note of student. Okay, I will display all this. I can put my console on the right so you can see it clearly. But we don't have all the code. Okay, run. So for, for my eight students here, so the math not average is this value, minimum is eight, maximum this value and the other summary statistic of age of student. So as you are seeing, uh, the primitive stream are very powerful for calculation. And with only two lines, 
we can have a summary statistic of every data if we have this data on list or from other source. So thank you for watching and see you in next video.